Hey, what's going on? It's Mark, and today I want to talk about a question that I've been receiving uh, fairly frequently ever since I put out that content about playfulness somewhat recently. And the question is this, how do you self-amuse? So look, I get it because I was definitely in this spot at one point where I would go out and I would feel like I'm going through the same things over and over again. I don't really feel like I enjoy the process of going out, talking to people, things like that. And so, you know, there's this content around self-amusement out there where dating coaches might talk about self-amusement. You need to do, you need to self-amuse, right? If you want to develop charisma, you need to self-amuse. And so I tried this where I would go out, talk to people and try to self-amuse. And what I found is that, yeah, sometimes I would kind of laugh and people would laugh along with me, but a lot of times I would just feel misaligned or it felt inauthentic. It just, it felt forced or fake. And so the question for me was really, is there a way to do this in a more natural way? In a way that is actually more self-amused? Because if you really think about it, does it make sense to try to self-amuse? Because is self-amusement really a verb or is it an adjective describing who you are? Is it, are you self-amusing or are you self-amusing? So that's the question is, is it for you an action or is it an identity? And so that's what I wanna talk about today is, what does this actually mean? And are we even asking ourselves the right questions around this? Because here's what I realized for myself is, is it so much about doing the action of self-amusement or when you see a truly self-amused person, are they thinking to themselves, I need to self-amuse right now? Typically not. Typically these people that you see that are self-amused, you can tell, you can usually recognize when it's happening, like, oh, this person, they look like they are self-amused. Right, once again, identity instead of verb. They're not self-amusing, they are self-amused. And so the question is, how, how did they get into that state of self-amusement? And oftentimes it's not from trying to self-amuse, but rather, what is it? What do you think it is? So that's what I began to think about for myself is what, what do I think that self-amusement actually is? And here's the answer that I arrived at is it's actually just when I feel good and then self-amusement is the effect of feeling good, right? So there might be certain times when you felt self-amused. So let me ask you this, when have you felt self-amused? Is it usually when you're trying to self-amuse or is it usually after you feel really good? Is it just a consequence or an effect of how you're feeling? And this is what I found is, for example, like after a Shavasana in a yoga class. So if you ever have done yoga, you have the rest period at the end of the class. And I actually found that a lot of times I would come out of that and I would just start laughing and I'd be more playful and I'll start joking around and I wasn't really sure where that came from. I just felt better and I wasn't thinking about, oh, I need to be playful, I need to self-amuse, but rather it was just coming out and I couldn't help it. And I, would, I would just start laughing and I actually took some friends to a yoga class and actually past clients of mine have gone with me to yoga classes before and they had a similar experience where they came out of it and we were just laughing and joking around and suddenly we were self-amused, quote unquote, right? So have you ever had that experience of maybe you were playing a sport, maybe it wasn't a yoga class, but maybe you were playing a sport or maybe you came out of a, a really deep meditation session that felt really good and you wake up or you sort of come out of that state and you're like, wow, I just feel really good. And maybe you start laughing a bit. And for me, that feels more in alignment with what I consider to be self-amused. And really, it's up to you to discover what works for you and what you believe self-amusement is. I'm not trying to change your mind or force you to really think about it in a certain way. But what I am inviting you to consider is how do you think about it, right? What, what is it for you 
that self-amusement looks like. And what is the cause of that? Is it really trying to do self-amusement exer exercises? Or is it really just from a result of being in a certain state or having a certain feeling in your body? You just feel really good. And honestly, I could get more granular and talk about what feeling good looks like. But honestly, a lot of times you don't even need to think that deeply about what it feels like to feel good. And this is the difference between rationality and emotional intelligence is sometimes we focus too much on the rationality part of things where we try to dissect and analyze every aspect of what does it mean to feel like, uh, what does it mean to actually feel good? What does that mean? What does that mean? What does that mean? And out of all the people to, to be saying this, you know that I'm, I've definitely fallen into this before where I tend to dissect things a lot but sometimes it's just an experiential thing because when you think about it or when you allow these memories to come up of when you felt good, you know what it feels like. So really our language is just labels on our experiences. And so when I talk about feeling good, just think about what that is for yourself. What memories come up? And maybe that will give you some direction on where to start with this. For me, yoga is one thing. Just spending time around people that I enjoy spending time around. And that's a lot of times why on the weekends I will talk with people who I just enjoy genuinely talking with and I'll feel more self-amused. I'll just make jokes and we find each other funny and sometimes <laughs> And uh, we will just laugh. We'll make ourselves laugh. And I do this also with, with making content. And that's another thing for, um, in case you are curious about where to start, you could try making some content and see if, you know, maybe at first it's a bit awkward and you're self-conscious. And I've definitely felt that way when I first started. But over time, as you become more comfortable with it, you start to make yourself laugh a bit and you get more comfortable with the sound of your own voice and you actually start to appreciate the sound of your own voice. And for me, that is almost like a reflection of how I feel about myself is when I watch back my content, do I feel good or am I judging myself? Because that is a great barometer for myself to recognize, okay, well, maybe there's something deep down that's it's bothering you, right? Maybe you're not feeling totally aligned. There's something that hasn't been resolved in my life. And so, you know, you can usually tell uh, when someone is speaking, whether they're being genuine or not. Sometimes someone is so charismatic on camera and then you meet them off camera and they're just some totally different person. Like I said in my last uh, video or last talk that I gave around that, sometimes you don't even recognize that yourself, right? And so when you actually come to meet me in person, you might feel like this is slightly different from what I was expecting, even though I might think that I'm being completely consistent and you know, off camera and on camera. But anyway, I just wanna wrap up this point about self-amusement because this is really how I think about it. It's not so much something that I do, it's more how I am as a result of how I feel. So if you have any questions, let me know, but that's it for today and we'll talk soon.